Hello everybody, Mr. Storm here, and welcome back to Stellaris. In the last episode, we continued our work upgrading some of our planets. Uh, we also got our ships back uh, home, and we began running them through upgrades. Um, we were able to unlock the psionic jump drives, so we're upgrading our ships with those new jump drives. Um, and... I'm starting to think about what we're going to be trying to do next. Well, we still need to replace a lot of the lost ships, so that's one thing that we're working on. Now, some may notice that time has advanced a little bit from the end of last episode. That's because I went ahead and I ran time forward. I let the game run for probably about another hour um, to get the upgrades done because there really wasn't else to do other than sit there and watch my ships upgrade. Um, and also, we unlocked a couple of new technologies. The one new tech that we got was the uh, zero point modules, the ZPMs. And so I went ahead and I updated our ship designs again to use the partially depleted ZPMs in their large slots, which allows them to use much more armor and shields than they have previously, but it only affects the ships with large slots. So, as you can see, we've got a lot more shields and armor on the battleships, the cruisers as well, so that should hopefully make um, at least the larger vessels uh, more resilient in combat. Uh, thing is, we now have to run another set of upgrades for that, and those are pretty expensive and run a long time. So if we look at the home system, um, I've split the fleet down even further than I did before. Um, so these guys are upgrading. They're going to take like another 190, 150, 160 days. Um, for half the size of fleets that we did for the previous upgrades. So, you know, we're going to just let them run, get their work done, and we need to also now continue building new ships. And I have tried to work out exactly how many of each type of ship we are going to be building, but we need to let the minerals build back up because they um, got depleted for this set of upgrades because it costs like 2,000 minerals for one of these groups. Actually, it was even more than that. It was something like 5,000 minerals for one of these like 4 to 5k fleets to upgrade with the latest um, design. So... It's pretty crazy. The other thing that happened, and basically where I stopped, is the the Zengen are now integrated. So their territory is now all integrated into mine. And what I need to do is add them to a sector because we're now over limit. But I need to remember... Which planets are the ones that are going to go in? This is where the Zengen was, right? Or over by four. All right, well, let's go ahead and start working on this. Actually, let me unpause the game. So we got a ways to go on those upgrades. Might as well get them rolling. And I just talked for longer than I probably should have. Oh, the other thing is the what we're currently working on for our new research are the Ori particle beams. They'll be done in five months. We'll have to see if they're going to be worth using. And we're working on synthetics, which is going to allow us to do the uh, citizen rights for artificial intelligence. Uh, let's see. We need to do planets and sectors... We're going to modify this sector instead. I'm going to add 
all this in. to be included. I guess we'll include that guy right there. And might as well fill those in just to make it look... Oh, we're in the month transition. Ah, there we go. Wait for that month transition to go through. All right, there we go. Close it. Right. Energy credit storage is full. Don't worry about that so much. Also got their fleet. Oh, very nice. That's actually gonna change my math a bit. Um, you're gonna need to get some upgrades. Um, how much is it gonna cost to upgrade this fleet? Forty-four thousand two hundred and twenty-five point two five minerals. To upgrade the 74 ships. Okay, well. I'm not sure what these are gonna actually. 21 battleships. What these are actually going to convert to once they upgrade. Hmm. So that's going to take a while to build up 44,000 minerals. Unless, because I can't trade for minerals anymore. Stinking wraith. Um. Oh, those guys are subject, okay. The Rust Guardians, they're a... Yeah, they're a fallen empire. Now, I wonder if this... Like, relative power, where it says technology level, includes, like, all the modded techs. If it includes that in the calculations. Because I'm, I'm not... I'm using a lot of modified tech in my ships. So I don't know if it knows how to calculate that correctly. Um, can we offer you a trade deal? Um, do you have minerals? I don't know how much minerals you actually have. I guess that's as much as you have. And I'll give you an instant transfer of energy credits. Research complete. Okay, that's, that's all they're gonna get. Uh, And they don't want any amount of energy credits. 
Yeah, it's not gonna work. Alright, so we finished the cell revitalization. Border range plus 10%. So course of decisions plus one. Leader enhancement selected lineages. What does that do? Lifespan plus 25 years. Recruitment cost plus 25%. I'm not that interested in that. Trade points plus one. I don't really care. Transgenic crops. So it's going to either be between the core sector systems. Actually, the border range is going to be much, much more important. All right. So I've got most of my construction ships upgraded to side drives. We need to make sure that all of the... Oh, here we are. Did we get everything built here that we're supposed to? Ships upgraded. Construction. Complete. It actually looks like that... The first fleet's been fully upgraded. That these guys built most of the stations they need, except for the ones that have the... Uh, why can't I build anything here? Can I build a wormhole station? Oh, there's another ship working on that? Apparently. Did they give me any science ships? They did, in fact, give me a science ship. Can I give them a scientist? Anomaly research speed, anomaly fail risk. Leader experience gain. Actually, it might be better to go with the leader experience gain. And then I want you to basically just assist research. Actually, you need to upgrade, and our new construction ships also need to upgrade. Ships upgraded. Ships upgraded. So the first fleet is upgraded to the new designs. These are the salt carriers. Yep. Using all the new equipment. Construction complete. Huh? What's this? The Nagarware Combined Tribes is now a vanguard state. Okay, so that means we're getting a lot more influence. Which is good. And that will probably take forever to upgrade these guys. But I do need those ships. Research complete. Ah, we got the Ori particle beams. What do we got? Quantum stabilizers. Gold shields. Huh. Shield hit points plus 425. Power usage. Wraith plasma cannons. Well, 
Let's go with the gold shields. I think they might be better than what we're currently using. Um, let's see, plus 425 on large shields. Uh, on the large shields, it's plus 420. Yeah, they are a little bit better. They use a little bit more uh, energy, though. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Alright, so we're starting to get some of those upgrades done. Alright, let's go ahead and put them in upgrade here. Actually, hold on, cancel that. What I'm probably going to want to do is split them down. And upgrade them like that. This fleet fly to this system here to do upgrades. Sixty one per cent. How long do they finish their upgrades? 109 days. All right, so these are the two that are the new ones that need to upgrade. So all of you guys can merge. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Oh, also, we just finished another one. You can merge in as well. Oh wait, no, you not you don't. The Taswin civilization encounter new, new pre-space civilization. Interesting. Now, I have split out the dreadnought. The thing about the Dreadnought is, it's a nice ship, it's really cool and all, but Ships it Ships uses a jump drive, and there's no way to upgrade that. So with my the rest of my fleet using side drives, it's going to basically slow everybody down. So... I may use it as a defense station, essentially, to, like, basically defend my own territory. I might build a small fleet around it, who knows, um, specifically to deal with anything that slips through, or to supplement my one of my defense networks. Like one of those, um... Fortification arrangements that I do. Right, so these guys are all upgraded. Thousand minerals to upgrade those ships, but we need those upgrades. So, ships upgraded. Construction complete. All 
you guys. Start merging back into the main fleet. Eighty percent. So we're calling this the fourth fleet. I'm gonna just call this the Dreadnought. So that fleet's in system and heading towards the starbase. But it's also going to need over 20,000 to upgrade. But, now that we have an operational fleet again, let's run the latest designs. Actually, hold on. We got those Ori particle beams. Let me just check them and see if they're worth swapping in. Alright, because the issue is... Let's see. The large gamma lasers do 42 to 71 damage. Uh, where would they be? Ori particle beams sit on medium. They use 250 power. What's their range? A hundred. 120. 80. So what I could do... What I could do is something like this. Swap in a ZPM and then put one of these particle beams Ships up on the ship. Tell it to sit at long range. Actually, I don't think that's a bad idea. Save. Now that's another round of upgrades. 6,641 minerals. System survey complete. Yep, yeah, that just slowed down their upgrade. I could definitely spend the minerals. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, why can't you guys just upgrade right here? Twelve point oh five, twenty six point two four. Yeah, it does like double the damage over time. Two hundred thirty seven days to run that upgrade. Yay. And then we're going to have new shields in 11 months, so... Perpetual upgrades. What's this? Confessor of Kill is not declared war on the Tantan Star Empire. Ooh, that's these guys over here. Can they even get there? Because... There's my territory in between them and them. I almost want to get involved in this war. Righteous Compact, Just Alliance Brawl. Construction complete. Count Azak, if I declare war... ...to vassalize you... It would only take me 81 war score, I could do it. Well, I'll have to think about that, because we're going to go ahead, I'm going to end this episode here just a few minutes early. As soon as the game decides to pause. There we go. Okay. So yeah, we'll end the episode here. I'm going to think about what we're going to do with the Confederacy of Kel Azok. Um... Might not be a bad idea to kind of jump in there and vassalize them. These guys don't really like me much. Due to border friction. But I'm going to vassalize them as well. Which we should be able to do while we're working on building up our ships. So... Yeah. I think I might do that. But we will take care of that next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.